Aisha with Happily Ever After Living. Today we need to go over week 12's results. But you guys, we have quite a bit to cover, so I think that I'm actually going to move the camera so that I can sit down. So grab yourself a cup of tea, some coffee, some popcorn, whatever it is you want, because you guys know I give you the real here. You get the real deal. So I'm gonna move the camera and we're gonna go sit down. All right guys, so I got my coffee. I actually have my notebook because I took a few notes. And again, I'm Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. For those of you that are just here for the weigh-in, let's just go ahead and do that because I don't believe in wasting people's time. So you guys know last week I weighed in at 219.4 and I was sharing with you guys that I really wanted to get back down to um, like the 218 mark, right? So I was like really working hard this week and just kind of like on my grind. I even fooled around a little bit with um, alternate day fasting. Anyways, I am really proud to share with you guys that my current weight, weight here on this weight loss journey and I am currently 216.4. So that's a total of three pounds lost from last week and I am so freaking excited, which actually brings this 12 week transformation to a total of 16 pounds. Yes, you guys, that is insane. I started this 12 week transformation at 227 pounds, but you guys know I actually did end up gaining weight and I went up to 232.4 pounds, but I am very happy to tell you guys today and share with you that I am back down and I am at 216.4 pounds. That is so amazing. For you that have been following my entire journey, I started this journey at 260 pounds. So that brings me down to a total of 43 point four pounds i am so excited about that i am going to continue this 100 pound journey it's gonna be great guys it's gonna be great i feel like so confident and i really feel like i believe in myself and i could totally do this so if you're if you're here just for that weigh in then you got it but for those of you that don't mind like the recap of the 12 weeks i would love to share that with you guys so I actually started this 12 week challenge with um, the idea that I would start back weightlifting. I thought I was ready for that. As a physical therapist, I actually created um, a training program for myself. I only created the first four weeks and I thought I would adjust like um, every four weeks I would adjust to a new program. But very quickly, something that I was a little bit afraid of was that I would gain muscle mass, which is great, which is what I want. But I just didn't know that if I was like at the mindset yet of where I can tolerate seeing the number go up, even though I knew that eventually it would come down. For my body type, you guys remember, I've been living in this body for 41 years. So I know that I would initially gain weight, but now, but I also know that I will eventually lose weight. Like I'll become more lean and more toned. Um, and 12 weeks ago, I just, I wasn't in the mindset to be able to tolerate that. So I started with weight training and then I did back off. And I mainly just focused on getting my 10,000 steps a day and just making sure that I was eating well. And also for those of you that are like really keeping track with things, then you would know that this journey was actually a little bit more than 12 weeks. It was actually more like 13 weeks because I didn't count the week that we went away, my family and I went away on our hiking vacation to California where we visited Joshua Tree National Park. I'll put some of that footage in here. We visited um, Joshua Tree. We also went to Death Valley. And I will say that Death Valley really gave me the opportunity to see like where I had to carry my son back to the car, our oldest son back to the car. It's already starting to see like improved stamina and increased muscle strength within myself, as well as increased endurance. And we also visited Sequoia National Park and the elevation in Sequoia, oh my gosh, like it, you need to be in shape like let's just say what it is so with that elevation i will say that i did notice like a little bit of difficulty but i can imagine that had i not already been on this journey like had i still been at the 260 pounds that may have been a little bit more difficult for me but i was able to tolerate it so i was really proud of that and then we also visited yosemite national park which, oh my goodness my heart my soul just fell in love with yosemite and i just felt like such a kid and yosemite was just such an amazing place to be which is also a location in which we have decided that eventually we will go back to um as a family 
and i want to add that all of these videos are on the channel where we visited all of those national parks in case you guys would like to go back and watch any of those so as i was saying i initially started off this journey wanting to do weightlifting but you know sometimes when you guys start a journey you really don't know where it's going to take you and i'm just one of those people that i have come to the place to where I am able to give myself grace and forgiveness and just kind of like go with where my, like where the spirit leads me. <laughs> so there are a couple things that I just did not consider when starting this challenge. Like when I created my workout, I didn't take into consideration like exactly how busy my life is. It's one thing like when you put your schedule on paper, um, but then when you're implementing it every day and then things start to happen, you guys, I'm a regular person just like you. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm, you know a busy healthcare provider like I'm, I'm just a normal person and this was actually a really good thing for me going into health coaching to realize that sometimes um what the clients say that they want there's a possibility that they may not have space in their life for that right now and that's kind of what happened with me with my weight training and with the program the intense program that i initially created for myself i just didn't have the time and the space for that week three if you guys go back and look at that video you'll see where i was starting to talk more about like mental health and just allowing myself a lot of grace and forgiveness i treated myself to a massage um i went and i had a facial like i really realized that self-care was going to be very important i realized that self-care was going to be very important and significant for me on this journey like this was not just about like creating a program and getting the results but at the end of the day i'm still a human being like i still need to be able to take care of felicia so week three i'm thankful that it was very early off that i um that i that i was able to identify that and then another thing that i knew was that i needed to eat well on this journey i am very thankful that i initially started with bright line eating because that gave me the opportunity to um, kick the sugar addiction and also gave me the opportunity to start bringing in <clears throat> at least one pound of veggies per day into my diet and then also just kind of like balancing out like what a true portion size is for myself like that really helped me out a lot but yeah, I just wanted to share that if anyone's looking for weight loss tips for me throughout this journey what, where I found success was making sure that I was eating well. You guys know I spent a lot of time, a lot of hours in the kitchen. I treated myself to brand new cookware, which I love that so much. And I also just spent a lot of time meal prepping and just being sure that not only my, my family, but also myself that I was eating good nutritious meals. Not, not meals that were like, just good for us but also meals that we were enjoying and where i would feel you know like satisfied from so that was a really important part of this journey and looking back at it i am so thankful that i invested the time into meal prepping and experimenting like with new recipes and just bringing in healthy yummy food to my family another thing on this journey you guys which i think is so important if you're starting a weight loss wellness health fitness journey is i promised myself that no matter what i was gonna have fun like i promised myself that this is not something you know i am on a mission to lose 100 pounds like i am not one of those people that's gonna be like oh my gosh gotta lose these 100 pounds and just like hate it the entire way i promised myself that i would have fun on this journey i would enjoy it along the way so whatever that looked like or meant for me like this was not going to be something where i look back and i'm like well good gracious i i, I did it it's kind of like paying off debt you know like whenever we were paying off the ton of debt like i didn't want to i didn't want it to be like oh grimy right like i wanted it to also be somewhat enjoyable now don't get me wrong you do have to make sacrifices with paying off debt and same with losing weight but what i think i'm trying to say is that it can be fun and it can be enjoyable so that's a little tip that i would give you guys as well you guys also know that during this 12-week transformation crazy felicia decided to introduce intermittent fasting one week prior to leaving for a seven day cruise i don't know i'm just one of those people like if i get something in my mind and i'm like yeah i think i'm gonna do that by the time it turns into a yeah i know i'm gonna do that there's really not much that can like detour my mind away from that and when i started intermittent fasting and i had great success that first week where i lost 6.6 .6 pounds 
I was like, wow, I feel amazing. I love the way that I feel. I felt like increased focus. The video's here on the channel. So I knew that it would be worth the, and what I felt at that time, I'm gonna be honest, was sacrifice. I knew it would be worth the sacrifice to, um, yeah, to just stick to it and just see how it goes. And surprisingly, like your girl was so committed, I was able to go on that cruise and still lose weight. The video is on the channel. I share it with you guys literally everything that I ate while I was on that cruise and I did not hold back. But I am just so happy that I was able to find success in that way as well. I truly believe that whenever we commit to something, whenever we become disciplined and focused and we see where the end goal, like we see where we're going, I truly believe that that makes it a lot easier to stick to the target so that you can get to your goal. I just wanna share with you guys other highlights for me during this 12 week transformation included decluttering my closet. That was a lot of work. <laughs> that video is also here on the channel. It was so much work to go through and like declutter those clothes and declutter the things that were like too large or no longer serving me or I just didn't like the way they were fitting or things I was just kind of like holding on to. And in that video, I also shared with you guys like a few things that I felt were still tied and attached to my identity, such as my clothing from the duathlons that I used to do and from when I used to teach spin, course, spin classes. Like there are still certain things that I do feel are attached to the identity of Felicia and those parts of and those parts of myself i was not and i still not am not ready to release yet because honestly i still identify as someone that does complete duathlon so that may be in my future again and i still identify as someone that does um spin and run and all of those things so no i was not ready to part with those items yet also during this 12 week journey i was really shocked to see as i go back and look i went from a size extra large scrub to a size large scrub yes guys this actually happened during this 12 week journey so i not only lost weight but i also lost inches and i'll be sure to share the details of all of those exact measurements with you guys in another video. Another exciting thing that happened for me during this 12 week transformation was that Crazy Yoga reached out to me and they gave me the opportunity to um, be able to share with you guys their active wear. And that was so much fun for me because during that time, I realized that I had gone from a size like extra large in leggings to a size large and that was amazing and you guys know I played it safe and I ordered size extra large sports bras from them but I am happy to share with you guys that this past weekend my husband and I went out and we were doing like some walking and jogging and those extra large sports bras are now too big they no longer give me the support that tight cushion that they once did so that's only happened and changed just here in a few weeks so again this transformation has been so amazing for me and i love the results that i've received and speaking of crazy yoga i'll be sure to leave their website in the description bar you can go to their website and enter my special code heal h-e-a-l and you'll receive a 10 percent off discount also i want to share with you guys that Yes, I've been able to lose weight during this journey. I've lost some inches, but I also love the person in which I've become. You know, this journey has also been like a lot of self-discovery as well. Um, it's given me, you know, I'll share with you guys like this little clip here in this video that truly meant a lot to me. It really did. And it's something that I'll that moment i'll probably hold on to forever so i've now officially hit another low on this weight loss journey and i'm just so proud of myself i'm so proud of myself because if you guys go back on my channel there's another video of me crying and i was talking about like self-sabotage or like you know when you hit these lows that you start to like sabotage your journey and i did some inner work around that and for me i can't speak for everyone else it was just about like realizing that that you're worthy you know and i had to realize that like me taking care of myself it doesn't hurt anyone but me not taking care of myself like that hurts everyone i love you know but most importantly it hurts me also guys i'd like to share with you a few quick face-to-face -face, um 
pictures and videos just so you can like kind of see see the transformation for yourself like one thing that i noticed is that in my face when i first started this journey i wasn't like as puffy as i was at 260 pounds but definitely more inflammation in comparison to where i am now so i can only imagine like what my face will look like once i actually hit my goal weight this is insane like it just blows my mind and then also i like to share with you guys um just some video from like when i first started like just some quick body shots of where i first started and like where i am currently a couple things that i noticed was that my midsection has gotten a bit smaller um i actually lost two inches from my abdomen area like around my belly so i think that is just so incredible and then also like around my back even though i haven't been lifting weights during this journey um, i actually stopped lifting weights around week two i believe um so even though i haven't been lifting weights i did notice that my um, back rolls are getting like a little bit smaller and I love and I appreciate that. Um, also, my legs have gotten just not a lot, but like definitely a little bit smaller. But even though they haven't changed a lot as far as like in um, measurements, they are definitely more lean and like more toned than they were when I first started this journey. So that's pretty cool and amazing too. All right, guys, so I don't want this video to drag out and be incredibly too long to where you guys don't even want to watch it. But I really wanted to share with you guys the results from this 12 week transformation. And most of all, I want to encourage you. You know, what I realized by doing this is that the time is going to pass anyways. So whether or not if I decided to do this or not, like here we are in October 2022 and like the the year is almost over like these 12 weeks they were gonna pass regardless of what i was doing so this was very encouraging to me that you know just set your mind and just just do it like just give yourself the liberty to just challenge yourself and see what can be done in 12 weeks and you know guys even if i had stayed the same like that's still not a bad thing you know what i mean like I challenged myself and I actually, I lost 16 pounds in 12 freaking weeks. For someone that has had issues with um, their hormone levels, like with cortisol and issues with their thyroids and adrenal fatigue, that is so freaking amazing. Like that just, it blows my mind. I'm so proud of myself, but it also shows me the results that I can get with my clients. And remember you guys, all I did was walk. I didn't go to a gym. I didn't do home workouts. Like literally all I did was walk during this journey. So I'm really excited to see what the next venture brings me up to because I am ready to um, start back with weight training and doing some other things. But yes, I just wanted to encourage you guys. Again, I'm a regular person. Like I have to find the time to cook. Like no one's cooking for me. No one's doing my shopping except for Instacart occasionally, occasionally. But yeah, like I I've got to do it. It's something that you just have to, you just have to get in there and make up your mind, stay focused and do it. And again, you guys know I'm currently still accepting health coaching clients. I would love to help you meet any type of transformation that you want to make in your life, but definitely in the departments of health. You know, sometimes just working with the coach can just get you started and then I can be there to help you follow through and just make sure you're doing the things that you say you want to do. But I hope you guys found inspiration from this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And later this week, I will definitely do a live video. So if you guys follow me on any socials, if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook, definitely send me any DMs that you may have about this 12-week journey. And this week, I'll be sure to announce it before I go live. I'll give it at least like a 12-hour announcement. And I would love, love, love to answer all of your questions and as well as chat with you guys in the chat section in that live video as well as here in the comment section below. So again, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys cheering me on and just believing in me throughout this 12-week journey. It means the world to me. Talk to you later. Bye. Love y'all.